Hi, I'm Ian. I'm Alid. We are Kids in Glass Houses, and this is the Kerrang Podcast. The Kerrang Podcast. Kerrang! Hello and welcome to the Kerrang Podcast. Joining me is Ian and Alid from Kids in Glass Houses. How the devil are you today? Bloody excellent. Really good. Excellent. So what have you been up to uh, till this point, beginning at birth? Uh, a bit of stuff. Yeah. And then... Last no, this year actually we uh, <laughs> recorded a new album, and it's uh, coming out August fifteenth, and we're super proud of it. Excellent. So the album's called In Gold Blood. It uh, is. It's quite a cryptic sounding title, or it might be a misspelling. Can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about what you know what the title means and how um, it ties in with the song? Yeah, it was it was a title we had kicking about around dirt, our last album, and we didn't use it for whatever reason, and then it came to sort of writing this one, and. Uh, I kind of remembered it quite early on in the process and decided it sounded quite, as you say, cryptic and mysterious. So I, I ended up writing um, like a concept of a sort of post-apocalyptic concept around that that title. And um, is that from growing up in Wales? Or? From growing up in Wales yeah. in the um, you know these gold-blooded communities in which we live. Right. Nice. So was it quite an easy album to make? Because I, I understand it was quite. Yeah, trying at times. <laughs> I mean, it it was easier, easier. I mean, albums are never like easy, are they? Like, because you want to be as good as do you? you can. They? No, they're not. I'm <laughs> telling you now, they're not easy. And uh, yeah, so I guess like we took everything we learned from making dirt. Like we wrote shit loads of songs for dirt, but for this one, we kind of knew what we wanted to do from the start, and we set out. And obviously, I had the concept, which helped to keep everything sort of honed in. And yeah, we just wrote about 14 songs, I think, and then 11 made the record. So yeah, relatively speaking, it was easy. <laughs> so you decamped to Brussels for a little while? We did. I did nothing at all in Brussels <laughs> apart from play pool and um, watch everyone else work really hard. But it was, I think, um, pretty vital that we were kind of locked away and there's really not that much to do. And we kind of lived on site in the studio and the boys were up at 10 I guess every morning yeah. recording until midnight or 2am yeah. and it was just kind of because it's obviously you live and eat on on in the studio you kind of just live and breathe the record which I think is like really important like we did it with the last one and it made a hell of a difference so we wanted to do it again so we went over to ICP in Belgium set up live in the room insane clown posse yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were all we were juggalos for a month. Nice. Like, what can I, say? <laughs> um, I can hear that in the songs. Yeah, um, yeah. Just set up live and just played through stuff and just set about getting a feel and a vibe more than making everything sound beautiful. Yeah, and the songs just sort of carry themselves. Cool. I understand there's a swimming pool at the uh, the studio. Oh my god! Did you all get really good at the butterfly? I <laughs> went in there once and I've never my breath's never left my body so quickly. It was horrible. <laughs> and it was boiling outside, and he was like, oh no, the heat outside will, will heat the pool. Right. Did not heat the pool. You were lying. Did not heat my heart. <laughs> it was horrible. Phil lasted about three seconds longer. Yeah, and he's, he's, a, he's a water baby as he well, isn't he? a water baby. Right. But uh, <laughs> no, he couldn't handle it. Like. Yeah. yeah. Um, when, I mean, when you, you know, had time off, uh, did, you, did you explore? Glorious Belgium, or did, we did you visit the uh, European uh, Houses of Parliament? We, we only really gave ourselves like two <laughs> days off, I think. So we went out, went to went into the Delirium the, Cafe is yeah, where we went. The tourist bar, like uh, we are Brits after all, like um, okay. we went there and partied. Yeah. So That's absinthe good, plus Bandy Gull's story, what happened? Not much. Really. I didn't really know that. <laughs> what I know is that we all we were on the same place, but we all left separately in separate taxis. And arrived about yeah. five minutes after each other, so yeah. we must have been like, no, no, I'm staying, I'm going, yeah. I'm staying, and then I just it was a scattered leave. I stayed the latest, and yeah. The problem is when you're drinking, obviously Belgian beer, is you don't realise that they drink it for taste, not just to get drunk. So, right. so you drink it <laughs> as <civilized>. as a <laughs> as an ignorant Brit, you like put a few back and don't realise how on your ass you actually are. Like, yeah. yeah. Did drink out of a glass boot though. Nice. It was nice. Yeah. It sounds very decadent. Um, <laughs> your producer Jason Perry uh, said that the day after Absinthe Night was duvet day. Yeah, yeah, that was that was one of our. Was everyone too sore to think about working? Yeah, that was one of our two days off. That was and that wasn't planned. It was, <laughs> but it was cool though because like we 
we were working like nine till two, like pretty much every day. So I think we needed it, and we did a cheeky cover. All right. For fun. Yeah. Will yeah. this make its way onto anything uh, soon? Uh, it's making its way onto the Japanese edition. Clay's not in. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's the only place you can download it. Anyway, yeah. 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 As soon as it's probably be on Media Fire or something. <laughs> right. like that, so. Cool. See you there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're playing Sonosphere this weekend. Yes. Uh, what can we expect from the set? Will it be in cold, uh, gold blood heavy or? Would be a sort of a, a well-rounded set. It'll be thirty-three percent in gold blood. Nice. We're going for the uh, the diplomatic approach, and uh, no, I think um, we're quite excited. We haven't we've never done Sonosphere before. Here's some good things, so um, I'm a bit nervous about it actually for some reason. Right. But um, that can only be a good thing because it means that I'll try extra hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, like I've I've never been, so I'm just looking forward to because everyone said that it's a uh, Jolly good hoot. Yes, I believe that's, that's what the word people use. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to going, and yeah, definitely looking forward to playing because yeah, we've done Redden and Leeds like for the last four years, so it's nice to like get out there and do some other sort of UK festivals. Yeah. I mean, which bands will you be checking out on the Saturday? We have to leave fairly quickly, don't we? Yeah. To go to Tea in the Park, but um, we we'll see Gallows, we we'll see Yumi at Six. And Biffy are on after we've gone, which is a shame. But yeah, we'd like to. We'd like yeah. to see them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. Maybe if you drop an email, mate. We might actually see if they could bring, <laughs> rearrange, rejig. Yeah. We'll just push Foo Fighters back on the Sunday and Tea in the Park, and then we'll just stay a bit longer. Cool. Well, that sounds fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, that, the album's out in August. Um, what? What's? How busy will the band be from that point on? Um, Hopefully, very. But we're touring in October. We're doing a UK stretch, like two weeks, starting October 1st, and then hopefully get out to Europe again and, yeah, just put ourselves about as much as we can, really. Yeah. So that's what a band wants to do. Well, that's what a band should want to do. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Will you be investing in any kind of gold outfits to keep in theme with the... Uh... I don't want to spoil the surprise, but yes. <laughs> 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 no, um, we're, we're starting to think about how we're going to throw away a lot of money on sort of shiny things for tall, things that flash and explode. So yeah, we'll probably waste a couple of million pounds. Brilliant. Yeah. So all bands cool do. with clever receipts. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fruit and veg. <laughs> Fruit and veg tax. Brilliant. Well, it's been great seeing you. Uh, best of luck with the album, and uh, we'll look much. forward to seeing you on Saturday. Thank you. For the, the brief time you'll be there. Yes. Maybe yeah. off in the distance. Yeah, we'll find time for each other, cool. though. Always. <laughs> Correct.